Now, let, me, let me give you a text. I'm a textual preacher. Let me give you a text. If you look at 1 John uh, chapter 1, and, and we'll just start at, just for emphasis sake, verse 8, so I won't be here prolonging. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. So we know we all sin. Uh, but the thing is, also, when you come down, I want to add on to Brother Adam what it says. I think when we come down and we say that we have sinned, I think our problem is we know you sin. Because all have sins. That's not the report. I think what, what, what I'm listening for when a person comes and says, I've sinned, is what you're going to do about it. That's a good idea. Okay, you missed that. Uh, you missed your chance to shout. Okay, so when a person comes down and says, I've sinned, everybody, everybody know they've sinned. The question on the floor is, what you're going to do about your sin? You know what I'm saying? When you start confessing and, 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 and stop conning and start fessing, and start just really talking about I've sinned and I need y'all to pray for me that I grow strong in this area. Right. And I'm going to need some of y'all to help me to overcome. Then we're talking about how we can overcome some of the stuff that we're going through. So that you got that part of the spectrum. Then you got the other part of the people who are so self-righteous that they sin every day, but they act like they never. <laughs> and so, and then that's what they, I'm not through. Well, let me run the text. And if we confess our sins, if we just confess our sins, then stop the con, start fessing. If we confess our sins, he is faithful. And just yes, forgives us sin forgive us. and cleanse us. So, so, so cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, if we say we have no sin, mm-hmm. we make him a liar and the word of God is not in not us. And then, it, then I like, we kept, you got to keep reading because he's writing to Christians. He says to my little children, these things I ran to you that and if a man sin, we have an advocate. That's what Jesus is about. We, we have somebody who sits high and looks low. He knows your struggle, but what are you going to do about it? You know, you can't be under construction with the same problem for 40 years. Something's wrong. And I'm going to show you a text, right? And save a text. Watch the same text. He said, and have an advocate of the Father, Christ Jesus the righteous, and he is the perpetuation, and where he did for us, for our sins, not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So he died so that we can get forgiven of sin. Now, here's the part. Look at verse 5. Look at verse 5, and I'm done. But whosoever keepeth his word in him, verify, Verify, verily, is the love of God perfected. Hereby we know we are in him. So what happens is the reason why that the stuff I used to do and I don't do no more, the things I used to say and I don't say no more, the place I used to go and I don't go no more is because the love of God has now been perfected. Oh, yeah. And that's the problem. We all got to work in the church is have you been perfected? And we stop trying to be scared of we're perfect because it means mature. We should be growing up. Grow up and act like you got some sins. You know better than what you're doing. When you go off on somebody, you know better. Yeah. The love of God is not perfected in your heart. So stop acting like little children. Start being perfected. I love God so I can overcome some things because you know why? God's been good to me. Well, and because the, you know, the reason why I don't do it anymore is because God's love has been perfected in my heart. And I don't want to do anything that's going to hinder my blessings Amen. from God. It's perfected. It's like, it's like a relationship. You know, like you grow and you get better, you stop doing the things that irritate your spouse.